But first on Fox, they weren't just carrying signs, but dozens of protesters carried their guns standing outside the Arizona State Capitol today in support of their Second Amendment rights. And while there were many pro-gun people there, also a lot of anti-Obama folks as well. Fox 10's Jill Monier is live at the State Capitol with more on the protest. Mark, Linda, this area here between the House and the Senate was packed with people earlier today. This rally, protest, peaceful by all accounts, it ended around 2 p.m. There were people here talking about the Constitution, tables where people could get their questions answered, but most people came today bearing arms. Both young and old, men and women showed up carrying guns. They were big guns even pink guns. What do you like most about your, your gun? That is pink. <laughs> At high noon Saturday, dozens converged outside the Arizona Capitol to rally. Most were there in support of the Second Amendment, protesting any efforts by the federal government to ban certain types of guns and ammo. This is my right, and regardless of what the government does, the bad guys are still going to get the weapons and the good guys are going to be defenseless. Keeping guns out of the hands of law-abiding citizens doesn't do anything to uh, decrease crime or deter crime at all. It's important for the people to be able to have their own arms when our government gets out of control. And they're not far from that now. Signs read pro-gun, anti-Obama and impeach Obama. While many were there just to support the Second Amendment, others stood at the Capitol to voice their opposition to President Obama in general. Obamacare is wrong. I mean, you just name it and it's, you know. Political host and commentator Claire Van Steenwijk says people taking time out of their weekend to march on the Capitol should send a message to all lawmakers. This is important just as the grassroots citizens. It's not an organization. It's not a Tea Party movement. It's not a pachyderm or some other movement. It's the voters, the American citizen standing up to their government. And a similar rally was held in Denver today where just 22 people showed up. The president was in Illinois yesterday speaking on gun control. He says he realizes not everybody agrees on every issue, but he believes the proposals deserve a vote in Congress. Reporting live, Jill Monnier, Fox 10 News.